Anna Maria Island is a relaxing, pristine destination just an hour's drive south of Tampa in Florida. In this video, you'll see what this Seven Mile Island has to offer, including stunning beaches, excellent cafes, and quirky shops, all contained in three distinct cities. Here we go! Driving on to Anna Maria Island from Longboat Key to the south, you'll first come to the city of Bradenton Beach. Before hitting the sand, we recommend first stopping at Back Alley Treasures and Bar for fantastic coffees and delicious fruit smoothies. Owners Heather and Travis showcase dozens of local artists' work in their gift shop, such as jewelry, clothing, art, furniture, and more. Then, stroll down Bridge Street to the historic Street Pier and take in the fabulous water views. With caffeine on board, it's time to hit the beach. Nearby Coquina Beach is a spectacular spot to soak up some sun and take a dip in the gulf. It also boasts concessions, a large parking lot, a seasonal market, and my favorite part, plenty of picnic tables under large shade trees along a quiet path. Across the street on the bay side is Lefis Key Preserve. Here you can meander through the mangrove forest on footpaths and boardwalks and climb a small hill to a lookout where you can see Sarasota Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. There are other viewing platforms along the trails and informative signs about the saltwater wetlands and local animal life. Driving north to the city of Holmes Beach, you won't notice any high-rise buildings or fast food joints. Anna Maria Island has intentionally preserved the laid-back, old Florida atmosphere. Arriving in Holmes Beach around lunchtime, we headed straight to the Cheesecake Cutie and Cafe. When you walk into the welcoming, airy cafe, you're greeted with warm smiles from co-owners Jennifer and Devin, alongside a gorgeous case of their signature offering, Cheesecake Cuties, in about a dozen flavors. A local favorite, the Cheesecake Cutie also serves up a wide variety of fresh sandwiches, wraps, salads, and flatbreads, as well as a light breakfast menu. Our Italian veg wrap, backyard garden pizza, and moat beach tea were fantastic. And the cheesecakes? They're incredible. We tried Jennifer's mother's original recipe and the orange cheesecake, and both were delicious. It's clear that Jennifer and Devin's mission is to provide customers with an exceptional experience. Nearby is Manatee Public Beach, where Route 64 connects Anna Maria Island to mainland Florida. On the Saturday we visited, Manatee Beach was very crowded. It's clear that this is a popular spot. With a visitor information stand, chair rentals, volleyball nets, an outdoor cafe and tiki bar, and several other amenities like restrooms and changing huts, you could enjoy this beach for hours. Holmes Beach was definitely the busiest town on the day we visited. The shopping centers here are larger and include a Publix and National Drug Stores. This is a great time to mention that Anna Maria Island has a free trolley that runs from Coquina Beach all the way up to City Pier in the city of Anna Maria. There are 35 stops along the route, so it's a fun and easy way to get around the island. Before we head north to the third city on Anna Maria Island, we want to let you know that we have an entire playlist of videos dedicated to Sarasota, Florida, which is linked in the description below. If you'd like to see more travel videos to help you decide where to visit next, subscribe to our channel and tap the notification button to make sure you don't miss our weekly videos. Okay, now back to the third and northernmost city on Anna Maria Island, the city of Anna Maria. A quirky spot, Anna Maria has lots of options for renting beach equipment and it's home to the Anna Maria Historical Society Museum. The complex includes a small museum, the old city jail, a mangrove walk, and a historical cottage. The museum is open Monday through Friday and admission is free. Anna Maria is where you'll find Bean Point Beach, a more secluded stretch where you can enjoy the white sand and crystal clear water with less crowds. But be warned, there is limited street parking and few amenities here, and beach access is via narrow paths between houses, so it will be a walk from wherever you can find parking. Bean Point Beach is a spectacular place to catch a colorful island sunset, so strolling up here when the sun drops might be the best time of day to go. 
Next, check out Anna Maria Bayfront Park for sweeping views of Tampa Bay and the iconic Sunshine Skyway. If you love to travel and are looking for your next adventure, subscribe to our channel for beautiful destination ideas and check out our travel resources guide in the description below to help you plan your next trip. Happy travels!